Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, collectors of adult age, Dave here again with another unboxing review video. This time we're going to take a look at the Warhammer 40,000 figure from McFarlane Toys. There's some product shot McFarlane Toys on the side. This guy is called Yim Garl Gene Stealer, Artist Proof. Artist Proof because he's gray. You can uh, paint them up yourself if you so wish. I probably won't. I just kind of dig them gray. McFarlane Toys, some Warhammer artwork there. 12 plus. There's all the legal shit. Don't feed it to children. Price tag, all that. There's the product shot in the back, what he looks like assembled. Warhammer 40,000. Yimgarl, Yimgarl. Gene Stealer, Artist Proof. There's product doodly doos on the bottom. Let's get this guy open. I have a very distinct uh, reason for buying these. Warhammer figures and makes it easier to use them uh, in the artist proof. I can ignore what they are and make them what I want. I'll leave it at that for now. Let's get this inner thing out of here. Off camera, so don't. <clears throat> There's the stand, with real nice. Uh... <laughs> that box bounced completely around, wound up underneath me. Fantastic. Fucks up my whole camera angle. Oh, what the hell? There, that's a little better. I'm gonna get the stand out of here. He may or may not need it. Of course, doing this destroys the card back. That's all right. Haven't been keeping them anyway. Warhammer forty thousand on there. I'll probably tag it forty k. Cause uh, isn't that the thing to do? Forty k. This guy's this guy's heavy. I hope he stands on these joints. Of which there are many. And uh, the right arms are attached in package. The two left arms are not. 800 bajillion tabs holding this guy in. So let's get cutting. That's one. just for him there's five on there just for him and there's two each on the arms so six seven eight and nine and the two arms are out of there which we'll look at on their own we got the left arm somewhat humanoid real easy shoulder joint there bicep swivel double jointed elbows they're not pinless but there's a plastic sculpt piece over top of the articulation there's a little bit of wiggle in there not a whole lot. Like a double ratchet there. I kind of like that joint. If you can hide it like this, it's not bad. Standard McFarland ball joint on the wrist. 
I like the sculpt on this hand. It's wicked looking. I actually dig that quite a bit. Let's look a look, look a look, take a look at the left arm on this side. Let's see. Very easy joint on that one. Same double elbow in there. Mostly hidden by the the uh, articulate, not articulate, mostly hidden by the sculpt there. This hand has a dagger like device molded in there, almost like it's part of the hand. I don't know Warhammer, so I really don't know if that's got a name or not. Did I miss one? On the floor. That was a good one. Look at this wicked guy. He's got a Thulu kind of head, or Cthulhu if you want to make the K sound. Very easy, somewhat loose joints on the arm there. They move around the bicep bend. This is going to be a fun one to play around with, I think. Look at that sculpt. Get that light down here. That sculpt is crazy. I don't think I've actually seen one of these in color, so I don't know what it looks like. I think the artist proofs often have a different uh, head sculpt. He's mostly got back neck articulation. It doesn't really look down a bunch. I love the spinal ridges with the ribs coming out. I like the texture in there. The pelvic ribs. <laughs> For lack of a better term, I'm calling them pelvic ribs. The knee joints only come out that straight. <laughs> it almost looks like a wang. Let's get these arms attached. I want to go lower first. Ow. That went on pretty easy. Let's go upper. That went on pretty easy. This guy is wicked looking. I love the pointed thumbs with the nails and everything. The torso is basically all spinal column. Let's see. Is this guy stand he's very top heavy should get the toe articulation flattened out you will have to play with it to find your balance point and what my lady calls fruit booter driving by outside Oh, he does stand. He will easily fall over, so I'm going to tuck his arms in. For here. So, yeah. You get a lot of bend on the knees. You can really crouch him down. But let's get. Let's see how tall we can get him. I don't have a measuring device at this moment. But 
He is pretty flippin' tall. Okay, bend back up so he'll maybe hopefully stand. Keep bending his legs too far. <laughs> he does hunch over quite well. Uh, we're gonna leave him like that for now because he's standing ish. Sort of. As soon as I moved him, he stopped, of course. Interesting thing to note, his heels almost look like kneecaps. It's weird, huh? Alright. Screw caution. Let's get him full extension. Why not? He's a bad motherfucker with four arms. And we're going to show him like that. He will not stand. Let's get his stand plate and see if that'll help us any. Maybe it will, maybe it won't. Probably won't. This guy being this heavy, he is so top heavy. No, take that plate off. I'm trying to get him stood up so I can bring in the other Warhammer 40k figure that I have, the flayed one. Yeah. Gently move him there. He's standing up. This is Necron, the flayed one. They do share a aesthetic. I like that they're in gray because, like I said, I'm not using them as Warhammer figures. They will be something else, but you will not know it until I get it finished. Yeah, they both have their pluses and minuses. One being they don't like the damn stand. That's pretty wicked. I think that's about going to do it for my review of... Yimgarl Gene Stealer Artist Proof Deuces.